This is the first hacker replay of the new season, Operation Deep Freeze. Let me see if I can see exactly how many matches I already had submitted. Uh, without like manually scrolling through it all, just in the not e like in the four days since the new season has come out, I've already had 90 matches submitted to me. That is like 20 something matches per day. That means it's very likely that a lot of these matches will be pretty obvious, or at the very least somewhat obvious. That is a lot of cheaters. And I also know there are a lot of new cheats. Uh, I'm waiting for this one. If anyone has experienced this, feel free to submit it and I'll try to showcase it in a future hacker replay. It's going to be a hard one to prove, but there is a cheat uh, where hackers can now take control of your movement. You'll be like walking and then they can like move their mouse around to move your aim. So people will try to get into gunfights and then hackers will spin them around so they can't shoot. Very interested to see that. It's it's an old cheat, because we've seen that before. It was a thing with grenades. Hackers could make you pull out a grenade and hold it, and you'd blow yourself up. That was a while ago. But enough about those cheats that we're not going to see today. Here are some, uh, some cheats, probably in this first match, on Lair. A new map. It's worse this season on both console and PC than ever. I've heard really bad things about console. Apparently, um, Mousetrap is just not doing anything at all. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true it is, but everyone has told me that there's tons of Zim, like mouse and keyboard users on console every single round, every single match. It's just terrible right now. I see there's a new match replay bug where every time the person who submits the match pops their Solus gadget, it uh, shows it for everyone. That's going to be a fun bug. Um, but yeah, I've also heard a lot of people say there's tons of cheats right now on PC. I personally have not faced a single cheater this season yet. But I'm sure I will. It probably helps that I've only played like, I think two matches of ranked. To start off, this guy's already droning, which is generally more than I can say for a majority of cheaters in this game. Waiting for the Solus. Eh, that was more of a reaction though. I don't know if he maybe heard them. It's hard to tell with the match replay audio. Probably good you haven't played ranked my snacks debating even dealing with that. That's what I've heard from most people. Most people are just like, I just don't want to play ranked. I don't blame them. I think it did hit uh, an enemy and didn't realize it. And just didn't shoot there. Where's Monty? Monty has the diffuser. He is on the other side of the map. Also, if I'm not mistaken, they're doing Evan's, yeah, Mira strat. Only Monty would push in and plant since he has a diffuser. He turns his back to the mirror. Oh my god. This must be like a, a silver lobby. You can tell it's silver because they're using Evan's strat. They also didn't seem to care at all that he pushed in. Mm. Didn't really see anything crazy there. Those two last kills I feel like were better than any of his previous kills, but that doesn't mean that they're cheating. Also, I don't know how to describe it. It feels almost like I'm taking crazy pills, but it feels like match replay already feels less accurate than it was before. Again, don't know how to describe it exactly, but it almost feels like there's a certain like airiness to it, which means like instead of things feeling solid, they feel like they're kind of like floaty. The aim feels floaty, the movement feels floaty. It doesn't feel solid if that makes sense thanks for the nine months turnip
We also have the sound bugs, like his drone's making absolutely zero noise. We have the constant visual bugs, like what we're seeing right now, as well as every time Solus uses her gadget, it pops up on Finca's screen. That might be, I might have to just pay way more attention now. Oh, the drone made a little bit of noise. Okay. I kind of just ran at him. Now they're paying the Solus because she's standing right next to a drone. He looked away as soon as the soul is peaked. This poor simple guy, I feel like his team's just not ever helping him. The Cappy Tau's on, like, on the other side of the map, only just now getting to the site after Fink has been holding them for a minute. When you shoot the Goyo. Prevent them from walking in through there. It still felt like a reaction, but it was a fast one, but it didn't seem like instant, like a lot of cheaters. This guy just seems better than the rest of the lobby, especially better than his team. His team seems fucking horrendous. Like he is constantly just like walking in for free, and his team is still outside the building with a minute left. If I'm not mistaken, this is also standard, so it, it it's very, very likely you can have a champ matched up against, like, bronze or silver shitters. I've been having a lot of that this season. Half my lobbies are with, like, teammates or enemies who are level 2 or 3. It's ridiculous. Fucking, I hit my knee yesterday at rock climbing, and it still feels super sensitive. Oh, I bruised the shit out of it. And by the shit out of it, I mean it's a small bruise, but I never get bruises. That actually hurts. I keep, like, folding my legs, and then it keeps tapping the bottom of the desk, and it hurts. Also, I'm not standing, I just realized. I forgot it was Hacker Replay Day, and I forgot to stand. Bad content creator. It's okay, this will be my one exception this week. We'll say it's because of my injured knee. It almost lined up with the Solus, but I think that was him just trying to hold the corner of the wall and it happened to line up. He does keep accidentally lining up with them, but again, I don't think it's intentional, because otherwise he would have been ready there. It almost looked like he was trying to hold the angle on the door, and they just were always a little bit too far to the right, which lined up with the person holding the door. The map is so confusing for no reason. It's not for no reason. It's The reason this map is confusing is because the bottom floor. Like, this shit's awful. It's just a bunch of random rooms with, l like, no discernible difference between them. Like, I know Rob always complains about all the maps looking too similar to each other, but, like, this is genuinely too similar with no, like, coordination at all of how to get around this 
basement area. It's just horrendous. And it's like eight rooms all packed together, all about the same size, all around the same shape. It's just obviously confusing. The top floor is like super easy. It's weird because it has one super long hallway and then just like one room essentially. Uh, second floor or the main floor is not too bad. But then yeah, it's just the basement that's terrible. He's already in a 1v5. What is Jackal doing? Jackal was just staring. He didn't line up there, right? I think that was just a coincidence. I don't think so, because if he was trying to track him through the wall, I feel like he would have probably shot him. Instead, he just kind of stared into the abyss. So, just to recap, it was a 1v5, and now it's a 1v2. That felt really fast, but it was on two times one sec. No, it wasn't that fast for reaction time. They just keep peeking him one by one, and it looks like his team is actually giving him calls. I just want to point out the difference between the two teams here. Even though I would say Blue's, or like Simple's team is pretty bad, like they seem pretty bad, you can tell that Mozzie and uh, Mira are both on cams, they are pinging, they are giving calls. Orange team, not a single person is on cameras, they're all watching Pickle, the last one left. Now Brava has got, like started shifting through drones, but it, I'd say it's a little late since he's 1 HP. And now he just went back to watching Buck anyways. Like I would definitely say it's a difference in like what the team's going to do and help with. I don't know how he knows that Buck is pushing this way because there is no camera to watch this. And unless it's on that camera and they called out that he's going that way, but they didn't ping it. And you wouldn't be able to hear because Buck is slow walking. That's the only part I find weird so far. Let me do something boring here and just watch the camera and see if it gets shot. And she is actively on the camera right now. Yeah. So Mira's on that camera, probably giving live callouts. Oh, they finally actually destroyed it there. Okay. And it is kind of weird that they... Or that Doc knows... That Buck rotates there. It's like he's holding that and then he immediately shifts over. Hold that. I mean, you could also obviously use like... Common sense, but okay. They just peeked me there. I did a lot of damage. They're probably going to peek me from down the hall. Not out of the ordinary to do something like that, but it just strikes me as a little weird. Because he was playing that perfectly fine with all the callouts, and then he still played it perfectly fine without any callouts. Looks like Doc is trying to instruct his team on what to do. Like, he's pinging for the castle and saying, like, barricade this, make a rotate hole here. Which, I feel like if you're cheating, you probably wouldn't do that. You'd probably just walk around and kill everyone's. You wouldn't care. Keeps doing the fucking vigil sound every single time he activates it. It's so like fingernails on a chalkboardy. Please kill vigil. I don't want to hear this anymore. It did not kill vigil. They killed Vigil. We don't have to hear the screechy noise anymore. He dies. I assume he probably dies this round too because they go to overtime.
Uh, but yeah, thanks for sending through months. Dusk and Koality Jerish with the new sub and Games by John with the new sub. Does the replay show if they were voice chatting? No. So a lot of times we have to just try to assume different things for like, would they be communicating? Would they be pinging? Based on what they look at, what these people are spectating, stuff like that. But we don't know for sure if they're voice chatting or not. I think, based on what I've seen so far, this guy is voice chatting with his team and trying to teach them stuff. They seem new. The enemy team seems pretty new, too. It just seems like he's a good player caught in a low-level lobby. And, like, honestly, I wish I had that more often. The amount of clips I could farm. Like, also, his aim doesn't seem, like, that great, because he's missing some pretty free kills here, if he just aimed at head level. Oh, now he got it. That right there makes me assume he's not cheating, because I feel like if he was, he would have adjusted his aim to be crouch level, instead he reacted and changed his aim from head to crouch. I think he's fine. Now we go to overtime. He's at 15 kills. His team went from 3 kills total, other than him, now to 8. So they've improved. He has slowed down a lot. He got 1 kill. This is also the worst. I've had it happen before where like you pop off at the beginning. Like you get so many kills in the first few rounds and then you just do nothing for the last like five rounds and it feels terrible. I honestly don't know whether the blue team or orange team is going to win over time because he's been able to kill so many people in a down situation but he's also just like completely got shit on at the same time i assume he saw the monty shield sticking out which is why he looked over i was looking at chat for a quick second they don't know that he's here they are distracted by the castle Alright, that didn't look like he shot him, it looked like he shot the air, but like I said, I, I don't I wouldn't be surprised if match replay is fairly buggy this season. Because we've already noticed a ton of bugs. end up winning the entire thing. He's at 18 kills now. I would totally understand why a lower rank or newer player would be like, he dropped 20 kills, he must be cheating, because 20 kills is hard to drop in an 8 round match, but I don't think he's cheating. I do think that genuinely he just seems to be a better player in a low rank lobby. Go, but 18 and 3 is so funny. I mean, if you are like an average diamond plus player, you should be able to easily drop this many kills in a silver lobby. I made fun of Roy that one time when he posted about how he got like 33 kills in a game, and I looked up the enemy team and they were all silver, and I was like, yeah, I wonder why. I'm not knocking him, but that is how you get a ton of free kills. There's no way he gets a kill from this angle. They're pinging the... What's his name? The Goyo. Wait, who is doing that? Oh, it's the Brava. But Brava's on the drone. She's not even on the camera. 
Uh, but I think it did drop 21 kills. I, I'll, I'll look up the enemy team. I am assuming that they are just bad and he is decent. I would guess just from looking at him, he's probably like at least a plat player. And these people feel like they're silver below. Now I bet we're going to look up the stats and it's going to be like he's a diamond player. And these people are all plat somehow. So we're not to watch the rest of it since we know they win. I have the match pulled up. Ow. Let me just make sure. Oh, it was ranked actually. It wasn't standard. I thought it was standard. But okay, so we have the match. This is the simple guy. He was previously a diamond. And obviously like with new season, it resets your rank every time. He's in bronze. Okay, first person on the enemy team is consistently gold. Emerald and heavy metal, but I wouldn't really count that. They are consistently a gold player. They've been gold for so long, and then they finally reached emerald last season. Uh, silver slash plat player. Mainly silver, like three times plat. Gold and silver, now plat. Silver and gold. Gold and silver. So yes, this is very much a case of a diamond player for some reason, playing against silvers and golds. I know some of them reach plat, but I don't think they're actually plat players. Uh, let's see. His team. A hard-stuck bronze player, from what I can tell. A, a 0 0.5 KD gold and copper player. And silver. A 0 0.5 KD gold player. A, another 0 0.5 KD. Oh, I didn't mean to pull it up. Player. So his entire team averages a 0 0.5 KD, but he is diamond. I'm going to guess that he queued with them to get easier matches. I don't think that, as bad as rank 2.0 is, I don't think it would ever make that lobby. I think he is a higher rank player trying to boost them. I don't think he was cheating, because if he was cheating... Uh, you wouldn't need the people that you're boosting to give you callouts. They would just watch you. He had his teammates constantly giving him callouts, droning for him, doing stuff like that. I think he is just a better player, probably playing with friends or people he met, and he wants to boost them and get easier lobby so he can shit on people. That's my theory. I don't think he was cheating. I didn't really get to get a deep dive into the accused player's stats. History is short. He started playing this year. I always forget Bravo came out this year. He had normal KDs, normal KD, actually negative KD here, positive KD here, a 2.2 now, yeah. I, don't know. I think he just started playing with a stack to lower his MMR and get easier lobbies. This all seems really crazy to me because he's going through all this trouble just to do well in the game. Instead of finding a whole stack just to make your lobbies easier, just sub and get my charm. It'll make you better at the game so you don't have to go against coppers just to do well. So person in this video, if you're watching this, go sub to my Twitch channel. This is why I have said for a long time, one thing Rank 2.0 should have done is they should have made it where if you queue with a stack of people, it will always queue with the highest ranked players MMR. I don't care if it's one champ with four coppers, you queue for champ lobbies only. If the four coppers don't like facing champs, don't play ranked. Don't play ranked with that champ at least. Always match make off the highest. All other games do that. I don't know why Siege doesn't do that. But anyways, we're moving on to the second match because we've already spent half an hour on that first match. In this match, we have Perot, Peru, Perot, who is accusing Spin XO. Spinks, yeah, Spin XO one two four. So then he plays Cav, obviously hacking. It's fifty fifty because they're either cheating because they want to play Cav and either down people and then not have them see it on the kill cam, or they're just gonna be like cross a plot who wants to shit on some silvers. Hmm. I didn't see a shadow, but I have to watch a bit more just to make sure. I'm pretty sure he's cheating, but based off this especially. Pretty sure he's cheating, but you could argue there would be shadows there. Maybe I just didn't see it. But I'm... I'm like 90% sure he's cheating. I think he's just bad. 
All right. He is cheating. What is this barbed wire placement? No, no normal player would put barbed wire there. He's got to be cheating. The way he plays is it seems like a person who like watched one TikTok on how to set up a site but doesn't understand the concepts behind it so then they're just they seem lost. Oh, he can't vault over that. Is that another vault or vault bug? Yeah, he didn't even see her and he already started shooting. He's definitely cheating. What should they add to match replay? They should add the ability to see players' real names. It should show here. Shimp, 2321, obviously streamer mode name. In brackets, it should show Little Bobby Jr. in brackets so you can tell what their real name is. Also, thanks for 100 bits, Jerome. I don't know if we need to watch anymore because this guy is very clearly cheating. Don't know what that was supposed to be. a claymore and didn't die to it. It was the claymore there. I don't know if he's like just trying to troll, but like he's trying to shoot them with the bailiff. He knows that the bailiff does like zero damage from that far, right? Trolling. He's gonna try to stand up and shoot and just die. Just kidding, he didn't do it. He's definitely cheating though. And sucks. <laughs> Alright. We'll move forward to the last round. Two of them already left. He only dropped six kills? He's like blatantly walling and he only has a 1.5 KD. I feel like he's not even gonna use the Jackal gadget. checking because he knows where they are. Oh, he did use the gadget. Cheater learns how to press gadget button. Oh, now it's bugged. But he's tracking him through the smoke. It's okay, we saw what we needed to see. He just sort of tracked the lesion there. He's tracking him again. He is cheating. He's not a good cheater, but he is cheating. What oh, throwing a smoke fix is that interesting? up tracking him. Alright, let's see if I can find the match. I doubt it, but we'll try. No R6 tracker. I assume this is not his real name. Oh, it is his real name. Oh. I thought it was a sure mode name. That's why I didn't look it up right away. Okay, well, whatever. We found him. Uh, he has a 2.5 KD. He's only played 8 matches, but definitely cheating. Uh, what's the 2.5 KD? Not banned. And uh, only level 49, so they're about to play ranked. They are cheating. Okay, match number two. Done. Moving on to match number three. We have both of these. Give us this one. In this match, we have Deficio, who is accusing Suburban S13. They won gridlock, so this should be obvious. Because, like... Actually, I guess Gridlock got nades, so a lot of people were playing Gridlock now. I was going to say, normally no one plays Gridlock. Kind of looks like he's looking at the guy on the right. Oh, he just looked at that guy. I, I, he keeps eyeing up the person in Workshop. He keeps looking over and then looking away. Oh, he just pinged them. So somehow, wait, Capitao hasn't even noticed that someone is above him shooting at them? Oh 
my god. Uh, this guy's definitely cheating. We're one round in and I can already tell. He's pinging so that his teammate can kill them. I don't remember who the Capital was. I think it was the Quentin guy. Oh, just kidding. He just straight up tracks them. He had no reason to know that they were there, right? Yeah, he's like literally tracking them as they crouch and walk away. No, he's cheating. Alright, well that was easy. Um, I don't think Suburban S13 is their name, but I'll try to find them. It is their name. Okay. Wow, these people are not even trying to hide it. Uh, 2.3 KD and ranked across 34 games. Previously a silver with a 2 KD. How do you get a 2 KD and an 80% win rate and still be stuck in silver and then gold? This is ranked 2.0 at work. Because they were probably in silver, gaining like 8 per match and then losing like 30 per match, or loss. And then now they got bumped up to gold and probably going through the same thing. Because at 27 wins and 7 losses, you should already be like, diamond. They are hard stuck in gold. Uh, let's see, who wins? This is the year of Siege. Yeah. From what I've been told, apparently cheating is at its absolute worst this season. From, like, posts and stuff I've seen. I guess I wasn't told that. I just saw it. And then as we start Hacker Replay today, people were saying that they are facing a lot of mouse and keyboard users on console. Do they lose? This wall, there's no way they lose this. Like, I don't think he's even being subtle about it. I just love that they didn't even think about reinforcing that wall. So it's like, let's just leave it open. Sight wall. Oh my god, his name. Also, it's for some reason getting super low frame rate on match replay. Bro, he lost that? To a RAM with the LMG? I've never even seen someone run the LMG on RAM. Oh my god. Alright, so now we know why he cheats. He sucks. Uh, match number three. Done. Match number four. I think they're all just in order, left to right. Alright, in this match, we have Mellow MDO, who's accusing WVGN.exe. A dot .exe is always suspicious. Oh. That's weird, it like, kicked me out of perspective view. What gun skin is he using? Actually nice. Hmm. Uh, thanks for sub talents, man. Let's check. Does manually reporting in UB support make a difference? Uh, probably not. I don't think Ubisoft support ever bans anyone. I remember back in the day, I used to report people all the time. And then the Ubisoft support would just say, Thank you for your report. Due to privacy concerns, we cannot tell you what happens to the person if they get banned or not. I think they changed stance on that because now people will actually get like feedback being like, Thanks for your report. Five people got banned. Yeah, I don't think Ubisoft support really cares or does much. I mean, it's pretty obvious he's already cheating. But the length he's going to already to try to hide that he's cheating is pretty funny. Like, he's straight up tracking them, but he's trying to make them shoot at him first so that it looks like he's reacting to them. This just did a 360 there. Imagine 360ing before you wall hack to kill someone. I just want to see if Frost wins this. They do. So, blue team kind of sucky. Uh, but, in my opinion, very Blaine already, so I don't think we need to watch that much more. He's 14-2. and two. 
I just felt it was important to let people know when a report came back positive, make it at least feel like you're doing something about it. Bro, so many people, when they started sending out those reports, being like, thanks for your reports, thanks to them, like five people got banned. So many people started sharing them, being like, look at how many people I got banned, like I'm so happy I'm reporting people. It makes people want to report. But then instead before, they were just like, nope, we cannot tell you what happens because privacy. Bro, this guy's ass. <laughs> He's straight up tracking them. No way he did the... He died. <laughs> he c 4 himself. He even did the whole, like, check outside to make sure no one can trade him out and then jump out. Unfortunately, the cheater's team still wins, even though he killed himself. As we fast forward... Oh, it's actually, it's it's Orange's team, or Orange's round to lose, and they do end up losing it. That is sad. First loss there. Second loss there. They all died to David the Penguin. After the cheater killed himself, they, they basically gave up. Unfortunate. It took us half an hour to do the first match, and then 15 minutes to do those three matches. In this fifth match, we have Jawarian, who is accusing Adriana loves you in the sixth round match. Okay, there's an annoying thing that with the new hack or with the new match replay update, where when their drone gets destroyed, it puts you in free cam. So then, if I'm not paying attention when Sledge spawns in, it doesn't switch the cam to him. I have to like manually click over. Oh, I actually just, I straight up can't even click on him. I have to go to someone else first and then him. That's going to be a fun bug to deal with all season. It's not game breaking or anything, but it's just plain annoying. Okay, Sledge. He thought he was being subtle. Oh, no, he's not even pretending to be subtle. Bro. Game sense? Yeah, I mean, I wish I had this level of game sense. I wish I just knew where people were at all times. My question is, if he's not even trying to hide it, like, he's being... Very blatantly obvious right now. How does this go to six rounds? You just tried to shoot him through a hard wall. Oh my god, bro. His aim. That was just genuinely terrible. Alright, let's just skip to last round. We know he's cheating. Okay, so we skipped to last round. He is five and three. He has a worse KD than the top fragger on the orange team. How? He is blatantly walling and like pre-firing people through walls. And then he actually ends up losing this match because it's two to three and it's only a six round match. How does he lose this? Does he think he can shoot to the trench from there? Oh, unfortunately he did get the blitz. Yeah, audio bug, but... Okay, orange team, look up! Come on, guys. Like, this guy is blatantly shooting through the floor, missing half of his shots, and they still don't realize that he's above. Also, Monty's planting.
So it looks like this cheater doesn't even know what shields are because he keeps trying to shoot shields through the floor and through the wall. And he thinks he can kill them. What we're seeing here is very likely someone who probably never played Siege before and only started playing it now to start cheating. Because also look at that recoil control. It is horrendous. He's like looking at the floor every time he shoots. Why is his teammate not helping him? Now he's helping him. Bro, he just missed so many shots. His aim goes like up to the ceiling and then he has to pull so far down but then he aims at the floor and then he has to let it go so it goes back up and it's just... Ugh. My teachers were right, we would learn how to use a sine wave in real life. It's like a sine wave, it just goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. That was, that was tough to watch. Let's see their stats. I bet we're gonna see he was probably like a copper before he got Cheats. Oh no, he was a silver. So he was a silver with a 0 0.66 KD and a negative win rate, downloaded cheats, and now he's an emerald with a 2.2 KD and a 68.29% win rate. Also, <laughs> oh no, okay, that's a lot of quick play. Wait, he had 253 abandoned matches in quick play last season. 253. And on top of that, hold on. Okay. 253 abandons, 234 wins, only 99 kills. He averaged 0.2 kills per match. How is that possible? What is he doing? Even if he's winning, like, so his win rate should be like 90 something percent if you ignore all the abandons. What is he doing that he's playing like. 250 matches and getting almost zero kills. Is he that terrible at the game, or is he like a bot trying to level it up? This level 78, I, I feel like it might have been a bot trying to level up. I don't know, that seems very strange. Alright, last match of the day, we have AOS7, who is accusing Bazinga. 3-3-6-9 in the 7 round standard match. He's officially rage quitter and it's obviously a full time worker. It is, I mean, you could abandon a lot of quick matches in very little time because it takes like 30 seconds to queue, leave. 30 seconds to queue, leave. But it's still just like a why. Why do it? So far, this guy has not even like gone to the side of the map where the people are. He's just walking around shooting at nothing. Which is kind of good. Makes him look more innocent. You know, in all of the seasons that Emerald Plains has been out, I don't think I've ever once held that window to look outside. It's never worth it. That was quite the reaction time. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Yes. Game sense. What phenomenal game sense. I actually, for a second, was like, yeah, he's probably not cheating because um, he's just running around doing nothing. That very quickly turned. So in this episode of Hacker Replay, the first match is going to take up half of the recording. And the next five matches took up the other half. They got so obvious so quickly. Bazinga is now 15 and 2, by the way. I want to know what kills him. 
if they end up losing this round. Especially if he's doing stuff like that, like he's just tracking them and wall banging them. He died. Okay. Who did he die to? Bandit, you just swung him. Hopefully Bandit's not cheating. <laughs> Can you imagine? I assume Bazinga probably just like goes fucking crazy here and just destroys everyone. By the way, champ background. Also, I don't know if this is like maybe an R6 tracker bug or something, but I swear that recently a lot of these submissions I've been getting and people I've been running into that have been cheating have champ backgrounds and then I look at their account and they have like their, the highest rank they've ever achieved is like silver. I'm like, how do you have a champ background? I don't know if unlock all still work. I assume they do. It's like, how are they getting these backgrounds? Because that's what makes it the most obvious is when they have a champ background and you can tell they're not that good. I don't know what is happening there with the zooming in and out. He's just trying to like validate his pre-fire here. That was all because he droned, right? His teammate is down. His teammate is dead. I think he should easily win this because of his blatant walls and disregard for trying to be innocent. We'll see how he plays it though. He could still walk into, there's two more cap can traps. He could walk into a Malusi, get slowed, he could walk into a frost mat and be downed. Yeah, he wins. Very blatantly cheating though. We do actually have their real name and the match file. It was Bazinga. Wow, a 2.3 KD champ at level 92? Honestly, a prodigy. Ahead of his time. The Tiger Woods of Siege. How do these people not get banned? Like, he's doing that in ranked, by the way. Oh, no, that was standard. That was standard. But, like, even a, a 2.3 KD is very, very high for ranked. It should have been obvious in a lot of matches, which means he would have been reported in a lot of matches because ranked players report like crazy. So the fact that he went and got a champ with a 2.3 KD at level 90 or whatever is pretty depressing. I would say Ubisoft needs to step up their anti-cheat stuff this season, but let's be honest here, Ubisoft right now needs to fix the fuck out of their game because it is very broken, and then they can worry about cheaters. I would rather have the game be stable than them deal with cheaters. The last thing I want is them to ban cheaters and we still crash and get abandoned penalties. That would not be fun.